Now your NBC 10 first alert weather. And good Friday afternoon to you. We break into Kelly Clarkson programming because we do have a tornado warning. We told you this could happen. Some severe weather moving through the area. It's down in the state of Delaware right now, which uh, is a very highly populated area just outside of Dover and a lot of people on the roadway. So we want to draw your attention to this storm system right here. This is a tornado warning in effect, and it looks like they just redrew the warning. So I want to get you the latest information there. Uh, that tornado warning in effect till 2.30 in the afternoon. So we are looking at the potential of some rotation with these storms. This actual new tornado warning now is till 245. So 245. We're going to get you into the cell to show you where the strongest winds and the possible rotation is with this storm system. As you can see on the radar, it's a pretty messy appearance, but the rotation has been down here in this part of Kent County. So we're zooming you in to get you some of the neighborhoods that are potentially in the path of the storm that you want to be indoors away from windows. That would be areas like Magnolia, Bowers, you're seeing this storm system and there is Delaware Bay. So the storm system is moving pretty quickly at 45 miles per hour. So it will be over land for a limited time. But if you live in these areas, we need you to get to the lowest floor of your home away from windows. Make sure the kids are inside too right now. And if you are driving, make sure that you're uh, if you're listening to us on KYW News Radio, uh, pulling off to the side of the road and letting these heavier downpours move on through. But again, let's put this uh, radar into motion because we'll show you the progression of these storms here over the last hour or so. And you can see how quickly they're moving. We're seeing those storms moving in and out of the picture. So that original storm was there. Now we have another thunderstorm here with potential of some rotation. What we use in this tool is what we call our velocity mode. We look for uh, signatures that potentially could show a t possible tornado right here, and that would be moving uh, just to the east of one. So this is again a very tr highly traveled uh, highway here during the Memorial Day weekend. It's moving away from there. That is the good part, but there still is. It looks like a circulation with this storm system as it continues to move off to the northeast at about 45 miles per hour. And this storm also has intense rain and lightning with it too. So there's a couple of things going on right now. The potential of some damaging winds, some heavy downpours, and of course that cloud to ground lightning. Moving you out, you can see, let's show you the big picture. This is part of a line of storms that we've been tracking across the area. There's that tornado warning that kind of jumps out at you in the red. That is for this area of Kent County and Delaware till 245. Again, lowest floor of your home is where you want to be away from windows. Other parts of the line that are pretty nasty right now are up across Pennsylvania. So we're going to keep an eye on this too. As we go back to our, our home view, we'll show you that where the storms are. This is another strong thunderstorm here. It looks like across portions of Chester County. So if you live in Chester County, at the very least, maybe some damaging winds and some heavy downpours. And this whole entire line is going to be moving through the Philadelphia area over the next two to three hours. So we have to stay weather aware, not only for now, but for the next couple of hours in parts of New Jersey and Pennsylvania, where there are not tornado warnings. But we want to get you back to that Delaware storm because that's the one that is of greatest concern right now down in the state of Delaware. You can see it's just to the south and east of Dover, still showing that sign of rotation. So what I'm looking for on the radar picture right now is uh, a circulation, and it looks like that circulation is right here. Now you see how big this blotch of red is. That shows that the circulation has loosened up just a little bit. That would be a good thing um, in terms of the potential of a tornado. That could be some damaging winds, but when we get these colors really tight together, that means a possible tornado on the ground. So we'll be continuing to watch the storm as it moves off to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. So what I'm going to do is go over to my radar system here and get you the latest here in terms of the home view. Um, there we go. And we'll show you what's happening here again. Uh, we have strong to severe storms. Uh, feel free to put up uh, the Wilmington camera as this live uh, view of the storms comes on through here. We'll show people uh, on the cameras what's happening here. Again, this is in Kent County that we have the potential tornado, but we do have stronger storms working their way up and down the I-95 corridor, and one of those storms is moving toward the Wilmington area. Also, any of our Philadelphia cameras looking down toward the south and west, and our crew is working on that right now. But this is a pretty solid line of storms, so it will be disruptive. We tried to get you that first alert information out here earlier today that this line of storms 
could pose some problems with it with in terms of damaging winds and also some lightning and some heavier rains. So as we continue to watch this, it's till 245. That doesn't mean that the uh, weather service might not cancel that a little early. Uh, we'll continue to watch it. These things do what we call cycling and sometimes they can spin up again. So we, we're going to keep that eye very close and there you can see the low overcast on our Wilmington camera right now and that's part of these storms they have this low overcast you may not necessarily see the tornado in Wilmington want to make sure that you know that you're not in this tornado warning but the sky may look similar to this down in Delaware and you don't want to be going to the windows right now and checking it out you want to be getting inside put as many walls between you and the outside as possible for these fast moving storms. You may not necessarily even hear the storm system coming at you and want you to be safe. Also make sure that you put on a pair of shoes too. That is uh, always a good thing to do just in case anything breaks. We want to make sure that you don't step on that. But there you go. Severe thunderstorm warnings out now across areas of Chester County. We have this line in Delaware. We have the tornado warning now for areas just to the south and east of Dover. What I'm going to do is step off screen. Our uh, partners over at the National Weather Service are working hard with us and getting us the latest information. And I want to talk to you about that and show you what is going on here with the latest. So we have a tornado warning continuing here for portions of Sussex County. Uh, that information includes uh, at, at 226 severe storms uh, with a radar indicated tornado. So there's a couple of ways that we know a tornado may be coming at you. One is an observed tornado. The other one is by radar. And this one is radar indicating may, meaning it may or may not be there. But we don't, don't want to take that chance with you. We want to err on the side of caution. So uh, locations possibly in the path of the storm. It would be on the southeast side of Dover, Bowers, um, uh, Rising Sun, Frederica, Magnolia, and Riverview. So in their statement, they're warning these towns for the potential of a possible tornado. So again, these storms are moving off to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. If there's any good news is they're in and they're out of here, but we can't outrule the potential of another isolated tornado warning out there. And so we're going to be with you here through the afternoon and evening hours to keep you safe. But so far, they keep that tornado warning in effect here for Kent County. Also in Sussex County, there's a severe thunderstorm that I have my eye on showing signs of some rotation. So there's a couple of signs of rotation along the line as it's moving to the north and east. Cloud to ground lightning. If we can show any of our live cameras, that would be great. I can show you how the visibility varies from place to place down at the shore. It's a little bit foggy. If you're in Philadelphia, the suburbs now and you're thinking about headed down there. There you go, the melon camera now. As you can see, uh, those dark lying overcast moving over the city. Just about 15, 20 minutes ago, I was out at the window and the sun was out. There you go, Kate May, you are fogged in. So conditions really vary from place to place, and it's not just only severe weather. You have some fog out there. So again, this is not really the time uh, to head out there for the Memorial Day weekend in the car with the kids. If you can just put it off for several more hours, we'll get that line of storms. Uh, and here's a live look now from, I believe this is our KYW News radio camera, uh, looking over in the gray overcast there. So driving conditions are not great. No matter where you are, we have the wind out ahead of the storms. We have the actual storms. Um, and as we take a look at I-95, you can see actually a lot of people probably taking this advice and kind of holding off on the travel, travel much lighter than normal. So this is what we got here. You got showers, thunderstorms moving through the area. We have a couple of warnings in effect, and it looks like they just dropped that tornado warning based on what I'm seeing here. The tornado warning has been dropped. So as of now, no tornado warnings in effect. If more tornado warnings are issued, we will be with you. But uh, for now, stay weather aware, have a way to get warnings, we'll be with you. And if there's any more warnings, we'll break in, but let's get you back to Kelly Clarkson. Now your NBC 10 first alert weather. Sasne here. It is 332 on your Friday afternoon. We're breaking in. We told you this could happen. We have some tornado warnings now in effect pretty close to Philadelphia for Burlington and Camden County. So what we're going to do is zoom you into that warning, show you you see the red box right here. This is the tornado warning that is in effect right now. And I want to give you the latest to here to simplify and show you what situation we have here. So the tornado warning is in red right now. You can see here's Philadelphia right here right across the river and we have this tornado warning in effect until uh, 
4 o'clock this afternoon. So that is for about the next half hour or so. What's been happening here? We've had a line of severe weather moving through the region. This uh, Thunderstorm has had a history of producing potentially damaging winds and even some isolated tornadoes. So it's this storm system right here. See where the lightning is being generated? That's showing the storm intensity is ramping up and that concerns us here. So this is why you need to get to the lowest floor of your home away from windows if you live in this vicinity. So what we're going to do a couple things here, maneuver the radar to show you where that danger threat is right now. So it's with this part of the storm right here. And as you can see, so Evesham Township looking at the potential of some severe weather, and we're going to turn it over to what we call our velocity mode. Just like uh, your television has different channels, well, so does our radar. And so we're going to try to stop this image here first and show you where that area of circulation is right here, right around Route 73. So obviously this is a very highly traveled road uh, down to the shore this time of year. If you have some friends and family that have made that trip, give them a text. They probably want to pull off to the side of the road here and wait until this storm comes by. It's right in this vicinity right here that the circulation looks to be as this storm is moving off to the north and to the east. So what I'm going to do here is pull you back, show you that this is a bigger line of storms that is moving off to the north and east. What I'm going to do is step off camera and try to get the speed of this storm so I can give you the latest towns that are in the path of this thunderstorm. The thunderstorms have been moving fairly quickly. They'll be in and out of here relatively quickly, but they are moving to the northeast at about 50 miles per hour. So they are moving off at a good clip. So putting in the latest storm speeds for you so you can get those towns on your map. It looks like those storms will be in central New Jersey pretty soon. So we'll be watching this line, but here you go. We'll zoom in for you and put on the latest towns for you as we stop the radar and put this on for you. So Northeast at 50 miles per hour. Some of the latest towns are going to be the following. All right, we have 335 in Marlton, 337 Stowe's Acres, 339 Mount Laurel. Again, very heavily populated areas. You wanna be away from windows and you wanna be in the lowest floor of your home, preferably a bathroom if possible, as these storms are moving off to the north and east. So Camden, Burlington counties, parts of them, especially if your phone is going off, is the potential of some severe weather. Here's a live look outside, and this is from Philadelphia, looking over the river into New Jersey, looking east from the Comcast Center camera. And you can see that the low clouds are almost touching the ground. So the visibility in these thunderstorms is not very good. So this is why you shouldn't be running to a window. You should be getting the kids inside away from windows, but that is the thunderstorm right now that is being warned for a potential tornado and you wouldn't be able to see it. It would be wrapped in rain. And as you can see, kind of a very eerie picture there looking across the river. We want to keep you safe away from windows, lowest floor of your home as these storms continue to move off to the east. Our Storm Ranger 10 is in Collegeville for the other part of the line. This is street level radar and that's showing you in real time the heavier thunderstorms here. But you see that red box to the east of Storm Ranger, which is where that tornado warned storm is moving off to the northeast at 50 miles per hour. So bringing you in, let's show you um, the thunderstorms that are moving from south to north. You can see this is the line of storms. Once you get past the line, it shuts off. So we are done with it. But for the next hour to two hours in this area, we have the potential of some isolated tornadoes. I want to step off camera just to make sure we're not getting any new information in. These have been radar indicated tornadoes, meaning they haven't been uh, seen by spotters just yet. But we're going to keep an eye on it here as these storms continue to move to the northeast at about 50 miles per hour. It's about the speed that you drive on the hot highway. So some ink uh, locations that are included in this tornado warning, Cherry Hill, Evesham, Mount Laurel, Willingboro, Voorhees, Medford, Lindenwald, Lumberton, Florence, Belmar, Burlington, Bristol, Mount Holly, Riverside, Berlin, Magnolia, Tullytown, Pemberton, and Wrightstown. So that is for this storm right here to give you the best visual of what's going on here. We'll put it on alert mode just to get you all those towns that are involved here, just so you can see. There you go. There are some of those towns that are involved and some of the highways that are involved too are areas like Route 130, 295, and you can see on the top left part of your screen, 
That is the low overhanging overcast right now with some of those storms as they're passing through the area. In addition to the tornado warnings, we have other warnings in effect right now too for the potential of some damaging winds and some blinding downpours. Uh, Route 206 from Shemung up to Tabernacle. This is Burlington County. You could be seeing some damaging winds, but we're breaking on the air here this afternoon for this storm system for the potential of tornadoes. Here you go. We have the potential of strong to even severe storms here this evening as this line continues to move off to the north and east at about 50 miles per hour. So what I'm going to do is bring you back here to our latest scan of the radar and bring you down into this storm system because this is the one that is potentially producing a, what we call a rain wrap tornado, a tornado that you can't see. So I'm going to turn this over to our velocity mode and see there's the circulation right here. And these storms are moving so quickly. You know, put this in play real quick and then stop it for you. It's it's right in here, but it's a kind of a loose circulation right now. So these spin ups tend to be very quick and then they can kind of wind down, but they do what we call cycling. So even though the immediate tornado threat may be over, uh, it can ramp back up again. So we're going to continue to watch this storm. So again, we are uh, live streaming also with our partners over at KYW News Radio um, for Camden and Burlington counties to kind of give you the big picture here to reset you what's going on. We have a line of strong to potentially severe thunderstorms now moving through areas of our suburbs right now. Those storms are not severe. The main concern right now is across the state of New Jersey. New Jersey, Camden and Burlington counties, we're seeing that potentially tornado warned storm. So what I'm gonna do here, is uh, checking it out. So uh, just outside of Marlton, heading toward uh, Mount, Laure well, Mount Laurel and Lumberton, uh, that is where uh, the circulation looks greatest here in terms of the potential of an isolated tornado. So it's with this part of the storm system right here. You're used to seeing that other look of the radar. This is the look that shows us the winds, and that's super important when you're talking about the potential of some damaging winds and maybe an isolated tornado. So it's just to the east of you in Philadelphia. Luckily in Philadelphia, we're missing out on the worst part of this storm system. We're gonna put this and stop this. The rotation is, looks like it's right in here with the thunderstorm. It doesn't really pop out at you. We're not seeing those bright colors but just enough that the winds could be gusting 60, maybe 65, 70 miles per hour, something that you really don't want to be driving in during this time, as you can see. Let's get you back to the home picture here to show you what's going on. We've had tornado warnings this afternoon in parts of Delaware, Sussex County. Last hour, we had a tornado warning. Until we get this line on through here, the threat is certainly there. We also have some severe thunderstorm warnings now. It looks like headed down toward the shore. Remember the Atlantic City Expressway, very busy this time. You're getting, at the very least, some very heavy downpours, also some lightning. And so if you can put off the drive here for another couple of hours, we'll get this line of storms out of the way. But this line is moving to the northeast at about 50 miles per hour. So in Williamstown, New Jersey, where this area of line of storms passed on by, I'm actually talking to our first alert meteorologist, Crystal Clyde. Thanks, Crystal, for passing that on. A 52 mile per hour wind gust in Williamstown, New Jersey. So as these storms move by, as I mentioned, 50, 60 mile per hour winds, you wanna make sure that you're in the lowest floor of your home and away from windows. What I'm gonna do is step off camera right now. What I'm doing is gathering some information here from our partners over at the National Weather Service to make sure that you're getting the latest information to stay safe during the situation. Okay, so we have severe thunderstorm warnings continuing now for parts of, uh, it looks like Atlantic County and into Burlington County. That is for uh, the potential of some damaging winds, but it certainly is that storm system that is now moving into parts of Burlington County that is the problem right now with the potential of some damaging winds and also some hail. So what you should be doing during a tornado and just in case you're in Burlington and Camden counties, you want to be in the lowest floor of your home. If you have a basement, that is really the best place to be. But if you don't have a basement, no worries. You want to be into the lowest floor of your home. That could be a bathroom or a closet, something without windows. Usually the windows are the first thing to go. And as you can see, our cameras panning around and showing you some of those low clouds here in and around Philadelphia and some of those heavier downpours. If you're in a high rise, you want to go to a bathroom to the lowest place uh, and protect your head. Also important that you put some shoes on just in case some of the glass blows out. That is certainly a dangerous thing to be 
during the thunderstorm is near glass or any kind of debris. Our radar indicator now indicating the potential of some damaging winds, which makes sense in this area of uh, the thunderstorms that is moving through areas of Burlington and Camden counties. So let's zoom you in. Remember, these storms are moving. They're not sitting over one place for any given time. So we're going to give you some new paths here in terms of the storm track. So the storm track down here, this is where we're looking at the circulation moving to the northeast at about 50 miles per hour. Some of the other towns for you, Union Mills 344. And remember, you can also uh, stream us here on NBC 10 and take this phone with you to the bathroom or the basement so we can let you know when those towns are now no longer impacted by these thunderstorms. 347 in Lumberton, 349 in Mount Holly, uh, Sharp at 359, 406 in Bordentown. Tracy, you have some new information. Well, we just want to remind people if they're just tuning in why we're on the air, Steve, that severe thunderstorm warning issued for Camden County, Burlington County, Gloucester County, but we're really focused on this tornado warning in Burlington and Camden County. And here's what you should be doing if when Steve lists all the places that you need to be careful, here's what you should be doing. You should be heading to the basement, the lowest place in your home. Stay away from the higher levels. As you he mentioned, stay away from the windows, right? If you have no basement, take shelter in a small inside room. Again, center of the house away from the windows, like a closet or a bathroom. Again, stay away from the windows. Go to an interior room and always good. Cover your head and put on shoes, not only because of glass that can blow out, but also because when things have stopped rolling through, you're going to need to get somewhere and you want to be as safe as possible with that. Again, we're on the air because of this tornado warning that has been issued for Burlington and Camden counties. Gusts may be up to 60 to 70 miles an hour. We also have a severe thunderstorm warning for parts of Atlantic, Camden and Burlington County. Steve? Yeah, that's right, Tracy. So I think you summed that up pretty well. well. We're talking about the severe thunderstorm threat. It's a relatively small area, but it is a very populated area. There's a lot of roadways in this vicinity, and that's why we want to get you up to speed. So we're going to zoom you in on the radar picture, really give you that tight view. And as you can see, it looks like just a kind of a mess here on the radar. The storm system isn't that typical uh, classic look that we look for for tornadoes, but that doesn't mean that the tornado threat isn't there. It just is kind of obscured or masked in appearance, which can be dangerous. So we want you to make sure that you just don't go outside during this. It may look like just like a regular rainstorm, but kind of disguised in that rain curtain can be some of those damaging winds. So the New Jersey Turnpike, obviously Memorial Day weekend, a very heavily traveled roadway. We want you staying off there here for the next hour or two hours. The good part about this storm system, the line is moving very quickly. Let's get the home perspective here to reset you to show you what's happening here. We have several warnings. Your phone may have gone off for some of these warnings. Uh, chances are the severe thunderstorm warning now moving through eastern areas of Atlantic County, through areas of Burlington and Ocean County. Watching that storm system, potentially for some damaging winds, maybe 60 miles per hour. If we could show the Atlantic City camera, this line of storms is moving toward Atlantic City right now. And we have some storms moving through the shore points at this hour. A lot of you may be down there right now wondering what the weather is for you. Well, we're watching this storm really closely. I would say our central and north Jersey beaches have the bigger concern right now than areas like Cape May or Delaware, where that line of storms is through. Thank you very much for that. That is your Cape May camera. Just some rain right now and some thunder. The main concern with this part of the line of storms now moving through areas of central New Jersey. So Trenton, this is next in line for you. So we've watched this storm now move up that 130 295 corridor. Now it's kind of headed up, headed up toward the Capital District right now. This is Trenton right now. You have routes 29, 130 that all kind of converge in here. We're watching for some of those heavier downpours. There's a live look at Atlantic City. Notice the visibility is not great even outside of those thunderstorms. We have some fog and some really mist and drizzle that's keeping things um, uh, visibility down to near zero in some locations, which is actually helping the severe weather threat and keeping it inland. But in spots like South Jersey, you're under the gun right now for some of those severe thunderstorms right now. So home look here with the storms. You can see the line is now past areas of most of our suburbs. So let's give the all clear to some of you. So if you live in Bucks, Chester, Montgomery County, some of you were under warning earlier. That is now gone. Philadelphia, 
The worst is now moving out for you, so you don't have to worry about this line. Down in Delaware, it's all about central New Jersey right now in terms of those severe thunderstorms. So I'm going to step off camera and see if we have any new information. Uh, we have that storm that is moving to the northeast at 40 miles per hour. So let's put a, a storm track on that storm cell and give you the very latest here as our radar picture shows. We'll go back to the home screen here, zoom you into this storm right here. It is moving off to the northeast at 40 miles per hour. A quick zoom with this storm system shows the storm system moving into the following communities. Mount Holly 349, that's the latest storm track for you. So if you're hearing me say your town, this means make sure you know where your kids are. You just wanna get inside, away from windows, lowest floor of your home, put your shoes on, Follow those steps and these storms will be in and out of here pretty quickly. Um, it's a little bit of a disruption to your routine, but it pays off just to err on the side of safety just in case uh, this radar indicated tornado hits your town. So 353 in Shaber's Corners, it looks like Redding 357, Sharp 358. And this storm system has changed speed. It was moving at 50 miles per hour here about a half hour ago, now moving at 40, so it's slowed down. So I've adjusted some of the storm times here just to make sure that you have that preparation of when to get to your safe place, which would be preferably the lowest floor of your home, bathroom or closet. Uh, North Crosswicks, 4.08 p.m. Going back here to our home menu to see what is going on here with the latest at line. Uh, now really crossing through much of South Jersey. So you're in the clear. We're on the air for you right now because of this, this tornado warning for parts of Burlington and Camden counties. Uh, through four o'clock this afternoon. So we still have about 11 minutes. Now, these storm systems tend to spin up tornadoes pretty quickly, but also spin down. So right now we are just watching for the potential of some rotation in this storm system. We'll bring you in and show you the latest spot here. And this is the area of the storm that we're watching right here, just to the west of Southampton Township. And I like what I see here. This is the circulation loosening up a little bit. Back here when it was down to the south, had a very tight circulation, loosened up. What does that mean in English for you? It means the thunderstorm has lost its tight spin and the risk of a tornado for the immediate moment. But as we said, down in Delaware, these things can cycle back through and that storm can intensify and potentially produce a tornado again. But I think damaging winds, the greater concern right now, but we'll keep an eye on it. There's definitely still a circulation going on here across parts of New Jersey as a storm works its way from south to north right now across areas of New Jersey, moving to the northeast at 40 miles per hour. What I'm gonna do right now and Tracy, I'm going to hand it over to you real quickly just to remind people of what they need to be doing is to check for new information. Tracy, as you know, this is a stream of new information coming on here. So this is what we're talking about. A absolutely. And as we continue to watch that line of storms move, as you said, pretty much past Philadelphia toward the coast. And now our focus and concern is for the people in central New Jersey. We can remind you that if you are in the path of a tornado warning, as we have been telling you, which is why we are on the air Get as low as you can. Get to the basement or the ground level, the lowest floor, wherever you are. Put as many walls between yourself and the outside as possible, right? And, and stay away from any windows. Don't go out and look for it. Don't go out and look for it because rain can obscure anything like that. And that can be very dangerous. So stay inside. Do not waste any time doing anything. Just get to the interior rooms like a bathroom or a closet of your home so that you can stay safe. Cover your head. Make sure your head is protected. And if you're in a mobile home, well, again, stay as close to the ground as you can as you continue to watch that. Yeah, that's right, Tracy. So that is good information. Not all of you live in, you know, a stable, sturdy structure. You just want to be away from windows. That is the key right now. Uh, again, this line of severe thunderstorms moving very quickly, but we do have some new information for you. We said that line is moving away from Philadelphia, which it is doing. We like to see that, uh, but it is moving into an area that is highly traveled during the Memorial Day weekend. The New Jersey Turnpike in the Garden State Parkway, two roadways that just have a ton of volume. So if you have a friend, a family member, maybe heads up, give them a quick phone call. You don't want to distract them for too long, but it is important that they know if they're checked out a little bit uh, that the severe weather is moving into their area. And so this is a very highly traveled area 
of the Garden State Parkway exits 37 on north here through the 100 exits. Um, and so a lot of beach communities, including our Long Beach Island town. So we want to make sure that they're in the know here. There is some cloud to ground lightning with these storm systems, and there is some blinding downpours with them as they move on through. The good part about this is we won't be on much longer talking about tornado warnings as the storm system moves quickly, but we got to give you the latest information out here. So giving you kind of a reset of what's going on in terms of the actual warnings here. We have severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings in our alert area. So our alerts are right here. So the focus is New Jersey, not Delaware. Delaware, you're in the clear. Pennsylvania, you're in the clear right now. It's all about these counties in New Jersey. And as you can see by the appearance, it's messy. We have a lot of warnings. So let's break down those warnings one by one and show you what's up here. This is severe thunderstorm warning for areas of Ocean County and parts of Burlington and Atlantic County. That's through 415. So we have about about another 20 minutes worth of time here for that severe thunderstorm warning. Then we have another severe thunderstorm warning that is in effect just to the north of there. That is till 430. So let's clear this off here for you so you have a better view. This severe thunderstorm warning here for areas of Eastern Burlington and Ocean till 430. So we're going to erase that one off for you, and then we're going to get you the tornado warning here for areas uh, just to the south of the Trenton area until 4 o'clock. So we have another six or seven minutes that we'll be watching that thunderstorm very closely as it moves off to the northeast at 40 miles per hour. If we have the opportunity, and I know I'm calling for this live on the air, uh, the Lowe's camera, if you could point that to the northeast, if you can, that would be great. Uh, just to see if we can see that storm system to the northeast of Philadelphia right now, because that's where a lot of those storms are moving off to the northeast quickly at about uh, 40 miles per hour. We're taking these warnings very seriously because of what's happened here in the last couple of years. We've had a number of tornadoes, so we want to make sure an error on the side of safety that you and your family stay safe during this situation as this line of storms moves off to the northeast at 40 miles per hour. Most of your cloud to ground lightning right now is in central New Jersey, and we've been seeing that here in areas of looks like Camden, Burlington, and areas of Atlantic County, those uh, lightning strikes have been the most intense. The lightning near Philadelphia has really started to wane. But let's give you those roadways here, just in case you're listening to us, our partners over at KYW News Radio. It looks like my computer system here has frozen real quickly, so that's okay. We'll step off camera. Steve, let me just jump in while you're st stepping off camera to get more information. We just got information from one of our morning producers. Schools delaying afternoon release in Cherry Hill the the parents were informed that the buses would be leaving momentarily, which is about 20 minutes late. Is it through actually through Cherry Hill by now? So the worst of that storm system now has passed through Cherry Hill. So so they'll be safe to dismiss and get those kids on the bus. Right. But, you know, erring on the side of caution here, waiting, you know, just in case because you know, Cherry Hill is one point. But if mm -hmm. they're moving up to the north and east, just waiting another 5, 10, 15 minutes. So storms, remember, are moving at 40 miles per hour just so they're safely cleared out of the area. There has been some rotation with these storms. I'm not seeing any um, talk in our weather service chat room. Again, we work closely with the partners. They have somebody literally just sitting with the radar right now analyzing it and we talked to them and I'm not seeing any new and additional information suggesting that a tornado warning is coming. In fact, all I'm seeing right now is that tornado warning, tornado warning may expire now for Burlington and Camden County. So that would be a good thing. Uh, they released that statement at 354. So, you know, Steve, we've also had this question at times. What do you do if you're in a car? You're on the road and right. you mentioned a bus, but you don't right. want to try to outrun a tornado. The National Weather Service advises you try to get to the nearest strong reinforced building or if you must get into a ditch, get low, right. as low into the ground as you can. Yeah, sometimes just pulling off to the side of the road when the visibility drops, make sure your seatbelt is buckled and kind of just riding out the storm. The good part about these storms, they're not lasting an hour in any one place. I would say they last probably about 15 or 20 minutes. So it's just a minor inconvenience really to pull over to the side of the road, put your hazard lights on, always make sure that you're safe. You can see all the traffic there on the Ben Franklin Bridge moving over into the state of New Jersey. By the time those people get to these locations, a lot of these storms will be out of here. So that is a good part. I know it's Memorial Day weekend. A lot of people want to get their plans going here in terms of travel. 
We told you that this would be a little bit of a disruption, a little bit of a delay, and then it would get out of here. But I do like what I see. I'm not seeing any new additional tornado warnings, but we got to get the line through the area. As we know, until we get this line through the area, things can spin up pretty quickly. So we have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect now for areas like the central New Jersey shore points. So if you're from, let's say, uh, Barnegat Light South, you have to deal with this line of storms eventually as it moves from south to north. But this is a pretty rural area. That's what I like to see. A lot of trees called Pine Barrens of New Jersey. So a lot of these communities, well, we just have a new tornado warning in effect. So let's get that new information for you here. Put you back on the home screen. Obviously, the Weather Service seeing some rotation here. This is why we work with them very closely and get you the alerts. This new tornado warning now in effect through, and this will populate before us until 430. So 430, that's this pretty rural area. But remember, rural areas, there's still some people that live there. There's still roads and stuff that people travel on. So let's get you the latest on this storm system now. So this is what we call the velocity mode. This is looking at the winds toward and away from the radar. The velocity showing that we do have uh, some circulation here. So what I'm going to do is bring you in closer. Again, we do have some roads in this community and the circulation here does look rather impressive. So we're going to put this uh, on pause for a second here. And what I'm going to do is try to find out the storm speed because that's really important to give you the latest towns. The storm speed helps us give that accurate minute by minute uh, location of where those thunderstorms are. So this severe thunderstorm has the potential of producing a tornado. It's a radar indicated tornado. It's moving to the northeast at 50 miles per hour. So it's it's booking and we like to see that it's moving in and out. But that means that you really got to take this time uh, to prepare for it seriously. So if you're listening in your car, partners on KYW News Radio, uh, that drive right along Route 70 is not looking so hot at the moment. Uh, we have the potential of some very heavy downpours, but I'm going to put this track on for you right here because the circulation definitely looks like there is a potential radar indicated tornado here. So 4 o'clock in Woodland, 405 in Bullock, Buckingham, 408. Roosevelt City 411, those dingings that you hear behind me, by the way, are just new updates uh, in our weather service chat room. Uh, 413 Crestwood Village, Keswick Grove looks like 414 Manchester 416. Again, this is a radar indicated tornado uh, for this storm system. Of note that I should draw your attention to, uh, we do have severe thunderstorm warnings here that you can see to the south and east. And in that severe thunderstorm warning, they have tagged that warning with the potential of a tornado too, meaning that there is some circulation with it. These are not your Texas or Oklahoma tornadoes that you can see for miles and miles. A lot of times they're rain wrapped and they're kind of messy. So that is a little bit dangerous. And so that's why we want you inside lowest floor of your home. But let's give you the storm track again, because super important that you know the towns that are in the path of these storm systems. You know, let's draw that track again and show you that northeast at 50 miles per hour, the following locations, Bullock 412, Buckingham 416, 422 in school and 423 in Keswick Grove. Again, sometimes this also plots landmarks like Chatsworth Elementary School just to give you an idea of your surroundings. So if you're in that community, you know where that is as the storm moves to the northeast at 50 miles per hour. This is the, the view that you're used to seeing. This is what we call our radar view. You can see up and down the 295 corridor, the 95 corridor. We have some heavy rain, but the main concern is now in our extreme eastern viewing area. So this is now getting into that area of territory where New York and Philadelphia watches us. Uh, so this is going to be moving into the New York viewing area pretty soon. Um, and so they're going to be tracking these warnings on WNBC. But right now we are still in that severe thunderstorm warning slash tornado warning now for areas of Burlington County. And let's flip you over to the velocity to see if there's been any improvement. These things can spin up pretty quickly and then can also spin down pretty quickly. And it looks like there's that storm system right here. So it's definitely showing uh, some signs of some stronger rotation has not changed yet. Let's put on the, uh, the storm track here, given that the storm is moving at 50 miles per hour up to the north and to the east. Let's try that one more time. Moving up to the north and east at 50 miles per hour. And here are some of those storm towns for you as our radar loads. So 
Pasadena Wildlife Area, 410. That means it's in a pretty rural area. I like to see that. Buckingham, 412. Uh, Keswick Grove. Notice the same towns are pretty much populating here, which tells me that this isn't a hugely populated area. But if you live in these towns, you need to be in the lowest floor of your home, away from windows. Certainly a good thing. If any of our cameras are pointed in that direction, we'd love to see it. Storm Ranger went through the thunderstorm itself. This is looking at street level live view for our suburbs which are obviously dealing with a big commute on the roadways, 422. You have the Schuylkill Expressway in that direction. Uh, that is starting to settle down. We like to see that all the action right now near the radar site. And this is a good thing because when the storms are near the radar site, we can see the potential rotation closer to the ground. Um, you can show me some of the shore cameras. You can show me some of the storms uh, uh, cameras from Philadelphia looking off to the north and east. You can see that dark, gloomy overcast. But there's really no um, nice bridge or gap that you can see behind those storms. It's just messy. It's messy before them. It's messy after them. The sun not really coming out. So that's why we're telling you to really take these warnings seriously. There's no clear beginning and clear end to how it looks outside before those storms come at you in your direction. The radar is showing all kinds of markers right now. Basically, the latest one is there's some pretty intense cloud to ground lightning. That shows me the storm. Still pretty healthy, still got to keep an eye on it. And it's moving toward those North Jersey beaches. Uh, I'm saying Long Branch, maybe Belmar. So if you know people up in that direction, you want to make sure that they are watching this storm very closely. There is the potential of a brief but isolated tornado happening in, in this section. All right, so we have our camera light, our um, Route 73. This is south in, in moving through uh, Berlin. Camden County. So the worst of the storm has moved through that area and uh, storm force will actually be able to see if there was any damage right now. I like the looks of that. I'm not seeing any damage in that particular spot. So fingers crossed that things are good there, but we'll continue to watch these storms as they move up toward the New York area with this line of storms that are coming through. Let's get you back to that home screen perspective to see if there's any new updates going on. That tornado warning that was down in Burling Burlington County Western Burlington County, County and Camden County is now gone. We don't have to worry about that storm anymore, but it's this storm system right now moving through Eastern Burlington. Looks like parts of Ocean County that are gonna be dealing with that with that intense cloud to ground lightning. Jim? What's behind this, Steve? Once this moves out, are you concerned about other storms behind it? Great question. So this is definitely the main round of storms that we're gonna be seeing here. And what I'm doing is zooming out the radar just to make sure that nothing else is forming immediately behind it. So it would be this batch right here that we see that's moving through areas of eastern uh, areas of West Virginia and Pennsylvania. But what happened, Jim, is this area of storms kind of ate up all the gasoline, right? So <laughs> these storms kind of ate up the juice so that this line number two just doesn't have the steam to work with. And we love to see that. So I think once we get rid of this first line of storms, get some heavy rain could get some lightning with this round number two but it's really this round number one that we had our eye on it's what we were talking about yesterday this morning we want to get it out of here again these are not long-lasting tornadoes but they are the potential of some brief spin outs that can potentially cause some damage to your house so it's important that you stay weather aware what I like to say most of you watching us right now you're not getting much and I like to say that but we got to stay on the air for people that are living in those counties of Eastern Burlington County to make sure that they're safe. We've had such a rough, severe weather season here the last couple of years. The worst of that line is about to cross out of here and into the New York viewing area here fairly shortly. We have our uh, crews out looking around for damage. We have uh, Storm Force 10 that's moving through areas of Camden County. That is, you know, obviously looking for any potential damage. We had Cherry Hill schools that were delaying the buses. A good move in this situation. You want to always err on the side of caution during these situations. And again, if you're driving or know anybody driving in the New York metro area, make sure that their heads up on this one. So they've replaced that tornado warning now with a severe thunderstorm warning. This is good news. Number one, the storms are moving out of our area. Number two, there are no longer any tornado warnings in effect. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up our tornado warning coverage here fairly shortly. But that line of storms exists from Trenton all the way down to Atlantic City. It's about to move out of our viewing area. We have some leftover rain showers, but the rest of the evening hours, 
not expecting anything of the magnitude that we got. So this is great news, 4.07 in the afternoon. We've been covering a couple tornado warnings, a lot of that moving out to sea, and we should be significantly better. But if you live just south of Trenton, up toward areas of Ocean County, stay weather aware, still the potential of an isolated tornado with it, but the situation is dramatically improving. Jim and Tracy, over to you. Thanks for staying with it through the whole thing to keep everyone Always. safe.